Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Um, this morning I'm in my repurposed room that I was talking about recently. Uh, this is my kids' playroom, that's why I'm joined by some friends as well. Uh, this is where I come and pray every morning. Um, it's fairly early at the moment, I've got up to pray and uh, read the Word of God and I just wanted to share some thoughts with you this morning. Um, I've been reading through the book of Kings at the moment. Um, alongside my study in, in Luke, um, I've been reading Kings, been really enjoying what I've been reading. I've had some help as well as alongside it. I've been reading uh, this to help me from our friend Phil Moore, um, really helping me understand more of what it's saying in there as well. But as I was uh, praying this morning, I was thinking about uh, the life of Elijah. And uh, the story of Elijah is really amazing. If you don't know it that well, I'd uh, encourage you to read it. Elijah pops up in uh, 1 Kings 17. Uh, he just pops up. This is now Elijah. Um, really exciting things happen. He has he challenges the king, who was an idolater who worshipped idols, and he prayed for rain to stop for three and a half years, and it did. And then he prayed for it to rain again, and it did. He has this uh, amazing encounter against the uh, prophets of Baal, this this false god, this idol, um, where he called down fire from heaven. Incredible, amazing things happen in the life of Elijah. And then after that, he goes into this time of isolation where he walks, it says, for 40 days and 40 nights. And he's depressed and he even prays and asks God if he can die. And then... He's in this kind of cave where uh, he's, he's sitting and waiting and God comes and speaks. And these amazing things happen. This fire comes past uh, the entrance of the cave. Wind rushes past, an earthquake happens. But God isn't in any of these dramatic moments. But when God comes and speaks, it's in the quiet, still, small voice. That's where God speaks to Elijah. That's where Elijah is encouraged. So uh, can I encourage you to find a room like this? You may not be surrounded by bears either where your still quiet place is. But if you want to hear from God, you need to find that place where you can be still before him, where you can be silent before him and he will come and speak to you. He will encourage you. And Elijah was encouraged from that moment and he went on. He found Elisha um, and anointed another king as well. You need to hear the still small voice of God. But you need to be silent as well. So I encourage you to find that place, seek him and he will speak. Be encouraged. God wants to speak to you. He loves you. He wants to encourage you in these days. You might have been in 40 days of isolation um, like Elijah. But he wants to come and speak. So... Hope you're well. Hope you are enjoying all that we're putting out at, from Hope Church Online. You can join us again uh, for our prayer meeting on Wednesday morning at 10 o'clock. The Zoom link will be sent out. Hopefully Zoom will be working again um, on Wednesday. Sorry about that if you tried to join in the chat on Sunday after the church service. Um, Zoom had a bit of a failure over the whole weekend there. Um, but I'm sure it'll be working again. So I hope to see you at the prayer meeting. Uh, if not, you'll see us again on our YouTube channel on Sunday from 10 o'clock. Thank you for joining us.